We are very glad to be here. The law school is interested in developing a Soroban education. Soroban is a Japanese abacus. And uh, it's a very old calculating tool in our history. However, it is still good for children to understand and developing number concept, especially basic number concept such as place value and base 10. And also, after we practice Soroban, we can develop very special skill called Anzan. That means Soroban method mental calculation. Before talking about that, I'd like to introduce the uh, teachers with us. This is the uh, Mr. Tetsuro Suzuki from uh, Northern Pass, Hokkaido, Japan. He used to teach Soroban for 30 years, the Soroban school, and also he used to be a high school teacher in Tokyo. And this is Miss Hiroko Toda. She has graduated from Roosevelt High School in Los Angeles, California and uh, she is now teaching both English and Soroban in Japan. This is the uh, Japanese abacus called the Soroban, and as you can see, Soroban has a lot of beads. It's divided by this bar, and there are one, two, three, and four beads at the bottom, and only one at the top. And we use one of each lower bead as a one. So when I push this up toward this bar, it has value of one. One more will be two, three, and a four. And the top, it's only one, but it has value of five. And same as the five bottom beads, very powerful beads, like uh, R2-D2, you know that? All right, anyway, if it's one, next place should be 10. What about 10 and 1? In English, 10 and 1, we don't say 10, 1, but 11. Soroban shows from 0 to 9 on one's place, and 10 should be shown using next to the one's place. It's easy to see which are the ones, tens, hundred, thousand, and so on, and also easy to understand base 10. OK, if I try like uh, nine digit numbers, 225,165,172, add 551,721,625. The answer shows 776,886,797. And this is addition but most convenient thing is, after we practice Soroban, we try to see the Soroban page in our head. We try to make an imagination of the shape of the Soroban page. Try to operate untouchable, invisible, imaginative beads. For instance, addition. 25,149 plus 81,910 plus 78,648. Answer is 185,707. I'm sure it's right. I could see the beads in my head and I could operate that untouchable, imaginative soroban. Starting with 314. Yeah. 52. Yeah. 11. Yeah. 1,489. Yeah. 1,429. Yeah. 123. Yeah. 12,899. Yeah. So far, 14,879. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 See, I could see the beads. I am using right side of the brain. Ordinary people, when they do addition, subtraction, as a paper and a pencil way, like a three and a five will be eight, plus nine will be 17. That kind of a calculation, usually they use left hemisphere of the brain, left side of the brain. This one shows right hemisphere is making some kind of action. 
This is actually my brain. When I was doing mental calculation, my brain was working like this. There are many types of Soroban in the world. I taught more than 30 countries, including South Africa, Europe, four universities in England, Denmark, Copenhagen, Australia, New Zealand, Brazil, Canada, South America, China, Korea, Philippines, Singapore, Indonesia, many other countries. So I hope Soroban is developing all over the world, and I'm sure it's contribute to the uh, human beings to do not only the calculation, also developing right hemisphere of the brain.